If you're interested in genealogy, I mean, in knowing who you really are, your family identity, I think it's important for you to learn a little bit about value first. Hi, I'm Myrna Roberts, and I'm a scholar who likes to talk about communication, history, identity, and cultures from all over the world. Today, I think we should look at two important concepts. One is zero, and the other one is value. But I'm really talking about value, value, value. If you don't understand value before you start that search of your family's identity, the world will convince you. They'll convince you that you're not worth the journey before you even get started. In this situation, the term zero comes to mind because it means nothing, right? Nada, zero, it's nothing. The bottom line is that other people will convince you that you're worthless. This happens in close relationships, in families, with spouses, employers, with children, even to the point of saying that you're a zero, which means nothing. That's right, sometimes we're even led to believe that we're worthless, that we are zero. Well, let's slow down just a little bit, do a little bit of critical thinking. I'm gonna use my brain. One major difference between one and 10 is a zero. A difference between one and a thousand. That's right, zeros. A major difference between the one and million is zeros. So, if you look at it like that, Zero can't mean nothing. In fact, zero has to mean something. And guess what? It's meaning something big sometimes. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to look up the term value because we're not talking about zero, really. We're talking about value. So look up the term value. Look it up in your dictionary, look it up in your Bible, whatever your holy book is, look it up in your etymology, and guess what? Ask your grandparents what value is. Now, I've been called a zero many times in my life with mockery, but I sort of like being a placeholder. I like to think I'm holding my spot down for the next great pioneer that's coming along. As a placeholder, sometimes I'm screaming, I'm a million, I'm a million, I'm a million. And the world is saying, baby girl, you zero. Sit down, you're a zero. Before you start the search for your identity, it's important that you understand the huge question you're asking God to show you throughout the universe. This is a big question. And these kinds of questions are weighty. And you can only hold up under the pressure if you understand the value of who you are and what you are. You would think it's the other way around that you would go and find out who you would find your value by finding out who you are. But you kind of really do need to have a little bit of understanding about value before you start the search. I remember years ago, I owned a graphic design company that fell because of my sheer exhaustion. Maybe I didn't understand a little bit about value because I worked myself into the ground. <laughs> During that insolvency, one of the major copier companies sued me for almost a quarter of a million dollars. And right before I began to have the nervous breakdown, 
I believe it was the Holy Ghost that said to me, Myrna, that is just a zero commas and zeros. One comma and a bunch of zeros. And that revelation is when I began to really pay, pay close attention to what the power of zero is. Now, it was a long story of how I got out of that trouble. And it was, it involved a whole lot of work. So I don't want to make this sound like it was peaches and cream. But the important thing to note is nobody came and gobbled me up. I'm still here. And that's still a lot of work. A lot of work. But how many times do people say, she can't run? She can't hit? She can't catch? And that was right before that triple play that sent them straight off of that field. But I already knew that I could run. I already knew that I could catch. I already knew what I could do when people were telling me I couldn't. That means I understood a little bit of something about value before I even hit the field. And that's what I'm saying here today. I would like for you to do just a little bit of homework about value before you start looking into who you really are. Comment below and let me know your zero story or your value story. And subscribe to my channel.